what is the best type of magnesium to take? Ask 10 people, you're going to get 10 different answers. And unfortunately, there hasn't been a lot of clinical research where they pitted different types of magnesium against each other. However, in this video, let's look at one of those studies where they did do just that. So here's the investigation I want to review today. The effects of magnesium citrate, magnesium oxide, and magnesium sulfate supplementation on arterial stiffness, a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled intervention trial. So what's this investigation looking like? Well, it's 164 people. They're in their 60s. They're overweight and they're non-smokers. They break them up in different groups and they give them either a placebo or 450 milligrams of magnesium each day for 24 weeks. They're giving them either 450 milligrams of magnesium citrate or magnesium oxide or again magnesium sulfate. They measure their blood pressure and their arterial stiffness as well as some other factors throughout the study to see if the different types of magnesium had any different effects on their bodies. And as the researchers point out in this investigation, this appears to be the very first study that conducted a head-to-head -head comparison between the different types of magnesium and their ability to affect blood pressure and vascular integrity. So let's go through some of the results. What did they find here? Well, let's look overall at magnesium versus placebo. So it turned out that none of the magnesium formulations had any positive beneficial effects on blood vessel stiffness. Didn't matter if they took magnesium citrate, magnesium sulfate, or magnesium oxide, none of them appeared to improve arterial stiffness. Likewise, none of the different types of magnesium had any effect on blood pressure lowering as well, or heart rate. And then one other thing they do point out here is there was no change in body composition between magnesium citrate, magnesium oxide, and magnesium sulfate. In other words, none of the magnesium forms cause people to lose weight. But what about magnesium citrate versus magnesium oxide? Magnesium citrate is a chelated mineral. It's thought to be better absorbed and better than an inorganic form like magnesium oxide. So what happened here? So it turned out that neither form of magnesium reduced blood pressure or improved vascular stiffness. Didn't matter if you took magnesium citrate or you took magnesium oxide. Now that said, I will point out that this is actually the opposite result of a previous investigation that appeared to show that magnesium citrate improved blood vessel stiffness. Now another interesting point of this investigation is that plasma levels of magnesium were the same whether they used magnesium citrate or they used magnesium oxide. That's very important. Now that said, turns out magnesium oxide appeared to lead to less magnesium excretion from the urine, which would indicate that maybe magnesium oxide has a greater retention in the body than magnesium citrate. Now, one weird thing they did point out in this investigation is that those people taking magnesium oxide appear to have a somewhat lower waist circumference. It wasn't much. We're looking at about one inch difference. Although, again, I've never heard of that before, and I do think it needs to be replicated to figure out if there really is something here or if just it was a fluke or not. So that's the lay of the land for magnesium citrate versus magnesium oxide. What about magnesium citrate versus magnesium sulfate? Well, unfortunately, there was no difference in blood pressure between either magnesium citrate or magnesium sulfate. Neither of them appeared to lower blood pressure any more effective than the other. And then likewise, there was also no difference between the different forms of magnesium and the degree of arterial stiffness. Neither magnesium citrate or magnesium sulfate improved vascular stiffness. Now on the plus side, both magnesium citrate and magnesium sulfate appeared to be equally effective at raising magnesium levels in the body. Now that said, magnesium sulfate appeared to lead to less excretion of magnesium from the body relative to what you saw with magnesium citrate. So when they performed what's called a subgroup analysis, they did find some oddities to the study that I want to call to your attention here. And one of those oddities was that magnesium overall appeared to reduce arterial stiffness in those people who already had stiffer blood vessels to begin with. And of the three types of magnesium used in this investigation, magnesium sulfate appeared to show significant reductions in arterial stiffness. Although again, I would point out this is again open to speculation and it really needs to be replicated through another investigation. And then one more weird thing in this investigation I did find is that magnesium citrate appeared to increase arterial stiffness in those people who had high levels of cholesterol in their body. Again, take these two points with grains of salt because I do think they're open to speculation at this point and they need to be replicated with larger studies to find out what might be going on, if anything here. 
So what about magnesium side effects, specifically gastrointestinal problems? That is something that people do sometimes complain about when they start taking magnesium supplements. So it turned out that there was no difference in GI symptom flare-ups when you compared magnesium citrate to a placebo. That's good. However, those people taking magnesium sulfate, they actually did report more GI problems compared to placebo takers. And out of all the different types of magnesium tested in this investigation, those taking magnesium oxide, they reported the fewest gastrointestinal problems. Now, if you go and read this study, you'll find that there really wasn't a lot of negative side effects. However, one side effect that did occur in one individual was a stroke, and the stroke occurred three weeks into the investigation, and it was determined to not be related to the magnesium supplementation, and that individual was allowed to continue with the study to its completion. In other words, magnesium didn't cause the person's stroke. So what does all this mean for you? Well, overall, it would appear from this investigation that neither magnesium citrate, magnesium sulfate, or magnesium oxide, they all failed to improve either vascular stiffness or lower blood pressure in these older, overweight, non-smoking individuals. Another finding from this investigation is that organic forms of magnesium appear to be slightly better absorbed than inorganic forms of magnesium, like magnesium sulfate and magnesium oxide. However, the levels of magnesium in the body did not differ between the different forms of magnesium. And that, I believe, is the big take-home message here and one that I've been kind of vocal about. And you hear a lot of people saying, this is the best type of magnesium, that's the best type of magnesium. At the end of the day, magnesium is magnesium is magnesium. Take the form of magnesium that you're comfortable with and know that it's probably going to work just as well as any other type of magnesium out there. Magnesium is magnesium. They bond it to different things to increase the absorption of, those, of the magnesium. However, the plasma levels of magnesium in the body body do not appear to be different when you look at the different types of magnesium out there. So what do you think of all this and what type of magnesium are you taking? Leave a comment below and let me know. And until next time, take care out there.